Hi kids! Today we will learn more on number patterns. We will make patterns according to pattern rules and find out pattern rules. So let's get started. Here is a pattern. Let's give term numbers to the pattern first. So, we have assigned the term numbers to the terms. We have six terms. Term number one is three. Term number two is six. Term number three is nine, and so on. Now, what is the pattern rule for this growing pattern? The pattern rule is start at three and keep on adding three. Term number one is three. Term number two is three plus three equals six. Term number is six plus three equals nine. Term four is nine plus three equals 12 and so on. One more pattern rule is there. Every term is term number multiply three. Term number one is three multiplied by one. Term number two is three multiplied by two. Kids, if we have the pattern rule, we can find the next terms easily. Like here, the next term would be 18 plus 3 equals 21. Also, next term would be 7 multiplied by 3 equals 21. Let's move to the next example. Here, we have another growing pattern. Let's find out the pattern rule for this growing pattern. Five is one more than double of two. Eleven is one more than double of five. So, the pattern rule is start at two, multiply with two, and plus one. Two multiplied by two plus one, we get five. 5 multiplied by 2 plus 1, we get 11. 11 multiplied by 2 plus 1, we get 23. 23 multiplied by 2 plus 1, we get 47. The next term would be 47 multiplied by 2 plus 1, we will get 95. If we have the pattern rule, we can find any number of next terms. Now, let's make another pattern. Let the pattern rule be, start at 10, multiply each number with 2. So let's make the pattern. Next term would be, 10 multiplied by 2 equals 20. Next term would be 20 multiplied by 2 equals 40. Next term would be 40 multiplied by 2 equals 80, and so on. Now let's make a shrinking pattern, where we have the pattern rule. Start at 100. First, minus 5, then minus 10. Now, let's make the pattern. First term is 100. Next term would be previous term minus 5. 100 minus 5 equals 95. Next term would be previous term minus 10. 95 Minus 10 equals 85. For the next term, again, 
we have to minus 5. 85 minus 5 equals 80. Now we will minus 10. So the next term would be 80 minus 10 equals 70. Now again, we will minus 5. So the next term would be 70 minus 5 equals 65, and so on. So kids, now you know what is turn numbers, what are terms, and how to make patterns if you have the pattern rule. Now, let's identify pattern rules in some more patterns. So here we have a pattern. Let's identify the pattern rule here. Think. It starts at 3, and every next term is 3 more than the previous term. So the pattern rule here is plus 3 as the first term is 3, and the next term is 3 plus 3 equals 6. Next term is 6 plus 3 equals 9. Next term is 9 plus 3 equals 12, and so on. Now let's answer a few questions based on what we learned on number patterns. Annie writes five lines on her diary for her first day. Then each day she wrote three more lines in her diary. Then how many lines will be there in her diary on the fifth day? Let's record it like this. So 17 lines will be there on her diary on the fifth day. Let's move to the next question. Sam had seven pencils on Monday. From Tuesday, he got two pencils on each day from his dad till Thursday. How many pencils does Sam have on Thursday? If you record it like this, you will find a pattern and you will get to know that Sam will have 13 pencils on Thursday. As you started with seven and keep on adding two till Thursday. So there will be 13 pencils on Thursday. So kids, now you know a lot about patterns and pattern rules, identifying pattern rules, etc. Now go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye.